Tonight we are going to dig into this splitter that was purchased at a gas station. True story. I was looking to modify a splitter and I saw this going down the road. The guy happened to pull into a gas station. I wanted to take some pictures to get an idea of how it worked and I ended up buying it. But it wasn't without its problems. It was cheap enough, but it wasn't with its, without its problems and we're gonna dig into it and see what's, why it's leaking some oil. Okay, since last fall, it has been leaking some oil here. Uh, the winter time, it wasn't terrible. Um, I tightened this packing up a little bit, I guess that's what it's called. I'm not a hydraulic expert by any stretch. This is, looks like it'd been tightened many times because somebody's peened over just using a chisel method or a punch method. Uh, I tried tightening it up a little bit. It's still leaking around the seal. Leaks onto the beam. The other thing is, is over on a, the there's an oil tank and I think it may have a leak, but we'll get this leak taken care of first. I think it's the biggest, the biggest problem. And then we'll dig into the, see if there's an issue with the tank. The end of the ram off. Cotter pan. Oh, look at that. This never happens. Let me grab a hammer. Actually, I'll have my assistant grab me a hammer. We don't even need the big persuader. We just need the old waffle face construction hammer. Nothing like a framing hammer doing uh, machining work. Pin is out. And if you know anything about the way things go project-wise for me, that is a major accomplishment, I guess, is what I should say. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and support this cylinder. It came right out of there, believe it or not. And I think jamming a four by four in there at the back, we'll get this. Did that thing just move? <laughs> guess we don't need a, guess we don't need the, uh, the wrenches that I was thinking we would need. The thing just spun right off. That is something else that never happens. Well, and again, it may it may not happen. All right. Get a pipe wrench on here. Actually, we'll put the pipe wrench. If we're pinned in this hole here. We are not gonna hurt anything. Let's see how far back on this cylinder we can go and not hurt anything. Pin there. We have, yay, we'll be okay. We will be okay. If we put the cylinder, the ram there. And try the pin first. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna have to grab a bar. We'll do that and we'll be right back. It's not gonna fit in there. <clears throat> Holy cats. I'm gonna need a cheater pipe. Okay, let's try to see if we can take this packing out or the seal. End cap, I think is what it's called. I think I screwed up the end of the shaft. I didn't account for the amount of travel coming in. I'm probably going to have to see what I can do with it. If I can fix it, put a limiter on it, I'm not sure. May not have the length of stroke, I'm not sure. I'm not a hydraulic expert. So, I would try to use a spanner if these weren't so buggered up already. But since they're buggered up, I'll just keep using the chisel. I can always redrill uh, some new recesses for a different wrench or a spanner wrench for when I assemble it. 
Okay, so today we ran out of daylight last night and we also ran into some buggered up stuff here. I uh, miscalculated the retraction of the cylinder. I thought that this was the edge uh, and that was the stop. It actually retracts up into the cylinder. So we're gonna actually pull this cylinder uh, there's a local place, relatively local, that uh, sells cylinder stock. We're going to go ahead and retap the, or cut cut new new threads on the uh, probably single point on the lathe. Maybe we'll see how it goes. We'll take this fitting off. We'll remove the cylinder. Um, we're actually going to. You know what? I was going to remove the cylinder connection there but I think I'm gonna follow that hose around like I said this was a cheap log splitter purchased at a gas station the guy was filling his uh, truck up I initially wanted to get pictures just photos of it because I was gonna convert my other log splitter from a vertical horizontal to a push-through design with a lift happened to see this bought it for cheap to give you an example of a few things that were kind of hokey as you have the engine mount just a piece of 2x10 2x12 maybe and I believe <laughs> they bent some bolts or all thread and put it through this grate I'm gonna walk around to the other side give you a little bit better view here this is where that gimbal would come in handy so initially when I bought it the Lovejoy connector uh, was mounted to a separate the pump was mounted to a separate piece of 2x4 2x10 whatever and it was uh, in a position that it <laughs> was aligned with the motor but as the motor mount was loose and uh, it became out of a line it quickly chewed this up so I, I quick made a bracket it still needs to need to put some guarding on it so you're not sticking your fingers in there I will just put some uh, bend up some steel plate and uh, place it on there and drill and tap it just throw some bolts in it just to keep people's fingers out of there um, I think I'm gonna trace this hose around and stick it in that bucket and we'll purge the cylinder of any hydraulic oil that's in it and uh, we'll go from there Here's the deal. Um, apparently the end of this, the cap, is held in by some kind of retaining wire or something. I'm not exactly sure what the nomenclature is, but uh, that little groove, those spanner things, they're only made to turn, apparently. Uh, they don't actually tighten anything. They're not, this is not a threaded cap. It's held in, uh, the packing or whatever they call it, is held in with a clip that's there. I'm gonna, figure out how to get that out um, I may record it on my phone and splice in the video doing it and uh, you know kind of show any important moments but it's going to be a learning experience this is the loose end here I can see yep that'll work there we go just to show that's what we're looking at right there.
have success. And it's removed. Here we are, pulling into Euclid Hydraulics. Get a seal kit and a new rod for the log splitter. Show you the parts shortly.